Sharing your hospital room with a dog for a few minutes may sound fun, but it could also be a ticket to a little bit of a faster recovery, believe it or not. Joining us to tell us this morning about the St. Mary's Pet Therapy Program is coordinator Dan Darmstadter. Good morning. Thanks for being here. These are old friends of mine from St. Mary's. This is Eric. Now you always joke around about how you go to the hospital and people know his name, forget yours. <laughs> True, and that's the way it should be. I'm just the handler. Just the handler. So explain a little bit about what pet therapy means, because we talked a bit about the fact that it's not this dog going in through therapy and helping with a medical visit. No, not, not necessarily. There are different types of it, but our program is basically just hugging and petting. It's to make um, you know, patients, staff, family, just a little bit more at ease. And tell and me how you got involved with this. Well, I've been doing this about seven years um, after I got Eric when he was two, but we, uh, my wife was pregnant at St. Mary's. I'd been, I'd been in Madison about two years and trying to find a program for a hospital program and they really didn't have one that was accessible to us. So we kept on going in for visits and I kept on just stopping in the volunteer office and they had been thinking about it and finally we were able to just connect and get it going and so Eric was the first dog and now we're up to 14 dogs. So this guy, both of these guys I should say, have made such a tremendous difference and progress. 14 teams in two and a half years. Now an another thing we should mention, first let's talk about there is one patient, we have some pictures, because a lot of patients you see for 15 seconds, two minutes, and you never see them again. You brighten right. their day. But there is one guy, this happens occasionally with folks. Um, this is Jim. Tell us a yeah. little bit about this. Jim Zimmerman was, I met him about two years ago, and he had had a um, brain surgery. He was in a coma, and this isn't typical for our dogs, but Eric and I have been doing this for a while, and he can go in and lay in bed with someone. He just laid there, and his family really wanted to try to help him get going. So in this picture, you see he's just holding his paw, mm -hmm. and that's basically all the communication he had at that point. And over several months in the hospital, we got to know him and his family, and then by the uh, by the time he got released, we kept on seeing him at his rehab hospital or when he came back for visits. So. Mm -hmm. We didn't, you know, we had a very, very small part of his rehabilitation, but, uh, you know, at a minimum, we became part of their support network through a very trying time. And it's been sort of a trying time for you and your little guy, too. Uh, yeah. it, you can't tell by looking at him, but Eric is a, is a cancer survivor at this point. Right. He said when we got him at two, he then got, he, we found out about three months later he had cancer, and he's been fighting it for about seven years. When we started the program at St. Mary's, he had been diagnosed with an another form and it had metastasized to a lymph node and we just didn't think he was going to survive over a year on average and he's been two and a half years and then even recently you'll see his paw, he's got a, a tumor back in his paw and uh, by all accounts he shouldn't be walking now and he still is. So, you know, we're just lucky and, and that's what my goal was to get this program to be a legacy for him and he's continued to go and attend himself. And he's recruiting yes. all the time. So we should probably put up a little screen here about a phone number to call if you want to get involved. Just if you have a pet, a well-behaved pet, there's a way to get certified. Contact St. Mary's uh, Volunteer Services Department is 258-6640. And it is easy to do, 14 teams and they could use more. We talked to one of the unit directors. Before we go though, Eric's going to do a trick. This is what a lot of the um, patients get to see when they go in the room. It's usually Dan, yeah. but since I've been <clears throat> part of the family here for a couple of years now. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Now, can you imagine a little kid in the pediatrics department? Look what I got. Come on. Come on. Okay. Up. Okay. Can okay. You Okay, so you don't have to do this if he's your visitor, but he's such a sweetie pie. Dan, thank you so much for thank coming you for this morning. Us. And hey guys, it's birthday time. I feel like it's my birthday with this guy. Yeah. <laughs>